Hi everyone, welcome to Grand Peoples. I'm Scarlett, and I talk about classic TV shows and their stars. Today, I'm going to tell you about one of the most popular sitcoms of the 1950s, Father Knows Best. This show starred Robert Young as Jim Anderson, a wise and loving father who always had the best advice for his family. His wife Margaret was played by Jane Wyatt, and his three children were Betty, Bud, and Kathy, played by Eleanor Donahue, Billy Gray, and Lauren Chapin, respectively. The show ran for six seasons and 203 episodes, and it was known for its wholesome and moral messages. But what happened to the cast after the show ended? Where are they now? Let's find out. Robert Young as Jim Anderson. Robert Young was already a veteran actor when he took the role of Jim Anderson. He had appeared in over 100 films since the 1930s, mostly in B-movies and supporting roles. He also starred in the radio version of Father Knows Best before it moved to TV. After the show ended, he continued to act in TV and movies, most notably as Dr. Marcus Welby in the medical drama, Marcus Welby, MD, from 1969 to 1976. He also reprised his role as Jim Anderson in two TV movies in 1977, Father Knows Best Reunion and Father Knows Best Home for Christmas. He retired from acting in 1988 after appearing in his last film, Conspiracy of Love, with Drew Barrymore. He died in 1998 at the age of 91 from respiratory failure. Jane Wyatt as Margaret Anderson. Jane Wyatt was also an established actress before joining Father Knows Best. She had starred in several films in the 1940s, including Lost Horizon, None But the Lonely Heart, and Gentleman's Agreement. She won three Emmy Awards for her portrayal of Margaret Anderson, the calm and supportive mother of the family. After the show ended, she continued to work in TV and movies, often playing guest roles in various shows. She also played Spock's mother Amanda Grayson in a 1967 episode of Star Trek and reprised it for the 1986 film Star Trek Irv, The Voyage Home. She also appeared in the two TV movies with Robert Young in 1977, she retired from acting in 1993 after appearing in her last film, Amityville, It's About Time. She died in 2006 at the age of 96 from natural causes. Eleanor Donahue as Betty Anderson. Eleanor Donahue was only 17 years old when she started playing Betty Anderson, the eldest and most mature child of the family. She was also known as Princess by her father. She had been acting since she was a child appearing in several films and TV shows. After Father Knows Best ended, she continued to act in TV and movies, often playing romantic interests or supporting roles. Some of her notable shows include The Andy Griffith Show, The Odd Couple, The Love Boat, Dr. Quinn, Medicine Woman, and The Young and the Restless. She also wrote an autobiography titled In the Kitchen with Eleanor Donahue in 1998. She is still alive and active today at the age of 86. Billy Gray as Bud Anderson. Billy Gray was only 15 years old when he started playing Bud Anderson, the middle child and only son of the family. He was also known as Budster by his father. He had been acting since he was a child, appearing in several films and TV shows. After Father Knows Best ended, he continued to act in TV and movies, mostly in minor roles or guest appearances. Some of his notable shows include the Twilight Zone, Combat, The Alfred Hitchcock Hour, and Matlock. However, he also faced some legal troubles in the 1960s and 1970s due to his involvement with drugs. He later regretted his role as Bud Anderson, saying that it gave a false image of American families. He also became interested in motorcycle racing and founded a company called Billy Gray Speed Center. He is still alive today at the age of 85. Lauren Chapin as Kathy Anderson, Lauren Chapin was only nine years old when she started playing Kathy Anderson, the youngest and most naive child of the family. She was also known as Kitten by her father. She had been acting since she was a child, appearing in several films and TV shows. She won five Junior Emmy Awards for her role as Kathy Anderson. After Father Knows Best ended, she had a difficult life, struggling with drug addiction, multiple marriages and divorces. She also faced some legal troubles in the 1970s and 1980s due to her involvement with drugs and weapons. 
She later turned to religion and became a born-again Christian. She also wrote an autobiography titled Father Does Know Best, The Lauren Chapin Story, in 1988. She is still alive today at the age of 78. That's all for today's video. I hope you enjoyed learning about the cast of Father Knows Best and where they are now. If you did, please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more videos like this. And don't forget to leave a comment below and tell me what you think of this classic TV show. Thanks for watching and see you next time.